Now what they base everything on is zero point energy. Zero point energy comes from the love and light of creation. This energy streams out of the center, what I like to call aeon, and out of this center point of creation, dimensions, multi-dimensions above us, there has this energy. It permeates through heaven, and it comes down into physicality, and it forms matter, because it can create all things. And we'll see how this concept was mirrored by the energies of our physical angel ancestors and our galactic family to create wonderful instruments that can make just about anything. So let's look at this. So the energy comes down and it's the beam controller and the beam generator. The generator is a, is a ZPG, it's a zero point generator. It makes the same energy that runs planets, runs ourselves, and it what it does is it creates a field, and that's what this light purple thing here is, magenta thing is. And as it creates a field, it creates a point, point A, and it sends its field out ahead. It's an inertialess field out ahead, and what it's doing is it's falling toward that object, which is the propulsion system that's set out in front of it. So basically, it's like a slinky, if you wanted to look at it. You know how slinkies work. And they go down the stairs. You see them going down and turning over and creating an arc and turning down and turning. Well, that's basically what energy is what this beam controller does. So it's in constant free fall. But because it's a unified field, the illusion of free fall, which would create gravityless conditions, aren't there. What happens with this inertialess field is it allows a gravity-like condition to be operate. And because it's inertialist, which means there's no sign of motion, what happens is it can do 90 degree turns, all kinds of crazy things that our particular primitive aircraft could not do. And what happens on the craft? You're sitting there. You feel like you're still sitting on the ground. There's no illusion of motion because Everything's unified, so you're moving through the space that that ship occupies together. You're, you're connected, and you're in this inertialist fall as it moves this field forward. And the result of all of that is that you then understand quickly in your mind that this is about allowing for energies to move forth and back between the ship and the field outside it continually, and it allows for motion. Now, once you want to move to some object, you set the ship upon, as its forward field, a planet or a sun or whatever, and it will start falling towards it. When it reaches Earth, it is floating on that gravity field. So when that gravity field moves up and down, and of course our gravity fields are not constant, They're, they are very inconstant. They're variable, they're flux fields. So that means motion fields. They're going up and down, just like with the air. So what happens is, if you watch one of these ships, you will see how it's moving almost like what's called the falling leaf effect. And that's what it's doing. So that's what's happening. So what, what do we have? Infinite less energy, because it's the energy of creation that it uses. And we'll be talking about this again shortly. 